Calling a truce. Little People's entire Roloff family reunites for first time since family feud at Grandpa's bedside for final. Hello dear beautiful and wonderful viewers. Welcome to Blast Gossip. And I am Maria. I hope your day is so well. I will explain everything. Never miss this video. I am Maria. Welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I would like to say like this video and please subscribe to the channel. The TLC stars were left devastated as Matt's elderly father fell seriously ill and they were called to his bedside for his final moments, later paying tribute to 84-year-old Ron. An insider said he was in hospital in Arizona and Matt and girlfriend Karen rushed to be with him, along with Matt's children, Molly, Jacob, Zach, and Jeremy. It's the first time the family have been all together since Matt and his sons Zach and Jeremy publicly feuded over the sale of their huge family farm in Oregon Ron, was previously diagnosed with blood cancer, and about two weeks ago, he contracted COVID and ended up with pneumonia and other issues, they said. Matt was very upset and he and Karen immediately flew out to Arizona to spend his final hours with him and the whole family. It was exactly what Ron wanted Matt's relationship with his sons still isn't great, but they put their differences aside to be there for each other during this important moment. The source went on, it was the first time the family has been together like that in quite some time, and no doubt put a lot into perspective for them all. They know family comes first. Hopefully this could be a turning point of sorts and get them to heal the rift and move forward. Businessman Matt shared news of his father's death with fans on Monday, August 1, in a moving Instagram post. Next to a photograph of his dad beaming, he wrote, A sad week for the Roloff family. My dad, affectionately known as Papa to his ten grandchildren and his ten great-grandkids, peacefully went home to be with his Lord and Savior yesterday evening. Ron was an amazing husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and inspiration to many. He literally loved people and anyone who ever came in contact with him knows that. Matt went on, his love for Jesus was so evident throughout his entire life and certainly in his final horse with his special love of his life since grade school, his wife of 63 years, honey right by his side. Many of us were with him reading his favorite Bible verses. I would list one, but he had so many favorites. Some of his last words to me were telling me how proud he was of the things I had accomplished. Then he quoted, My father's house has many rooms, Jesus said. I am going there to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. John 14 to 2 3, Matt then concluded, What a man and a life well lived thanks to all the grandchildren that were able to race to his bedside and hold his hands with mom and I in his final moments here on earth. Love love to all, tagging his four children in the post. As exclusively reported by The Sun, 60-year-old Matt has asked for about $4 million with the sale of the original family home and bright red barn. The plot is a 16-acre parcel from his 109-acre pumpkin farm, which he and ex-wife Amy previously ran before their divorce. The current season of the TLC reality show has focused on the estrangement between the father-slash-son duo as they decide who will take over when Matt retires. The situation ignited a rift between the pair, which Zatch, 31, had talked about on the show. He said, my dad was definitely encouraging the conversation. Wife Tori and Matt's girlfriend, Karen Chandler, came too. The north side is the 30 acres my mom and dad shared, and the whole thing was weird. He starts making excuses. Suddenly me and my wife are not good enough to run the farm mother. We don't have the money, don't have the skill set. Tori said, it wasn't cool. I never want to see someone talk to my husband like that ever. The argument has further caused a divide among the family, as Zatch opted to take a step back from his duties at the farm. Zatch and Tori also made the decision to move from their Oregon home to their new $1 million abode in Battleground, Washington. 
The TLC star's twin brother, Jeremy, made a similar move as he purchased his own farm with his wife, Audrey. Jeremy previously put in an offer on the property, which Matt also turned down. His wife, Audrey, wrote on Instagram about the failed bid, admitting not buying the farm was the death of a dream. Fans suspected at one point that Matt and Amy's youngest son Jacob, 25, will take over the farm, as he is photographed there often working alongside his father their daughter Molly, 28, who prefers to stay out of the spotlight, reportedly works as an accountant in Washington, Washington. Big problem, little people fans bow to boy C.O.T. show if Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler are not fired for greedy behavior in Food Matt, has been feuding with his ex-wife Amy Roloff and their children over his decision to sell their family farm in Oregon. The 60-year-old put 16 acres of Roloff Farms for sale for a hopping dollar four million on May 12. His partner Karen has been accused of ruining his relationship with his family amid their property feud, and after Matt clashed with Amy, 57, over the sale in the LP Begevi final. Viewers have had enough of the patriarch and his girlfriend. One tweeted, I can't stand Matt and Karen. I'm done with this show. They need to go. The kids worked for years on the farm. Amy sold cheap so the kids could afford one day. Years talking about family legacy, and it was all lies. Another added, Greed is the root of all evil. His girlfriend will probably laugh all way to the bank. A third posted, Sadly cannot watch any more with Matt on the show. Or his side chick. She's irritating. In the season finale, Amy accused Matt of creating a hornet's nest after putting part of the roll-off farm up for sale. Matt defended himself by saying, There are 93 acres in this family. To which Amy interjected, No, there are 93 acres for Matt Roloff. In a confessional, the family matriarch explains that she doesn't see any type of ownership on Matt's part. Matt's decision to sell to an outsider, rather than make a deal with one of his kids, has been causing controversy. Matt shares three sons, Zach, 32, Jeremy, 32, and Jacob, 25 along with daughter Molly, 28, with Amy in April. A source close to the patriarch told the son, Matt would prefer Jacob and wife, Isabel, to take over the farm, but he's not sure they are on board at the moment. The insider continued, He is the youngest son, but Matt knows Jacob has potential. They are on the farm a lot, and Matt thinks this is a good way to teach him a lot of things he needs to learn. Zach has also mentioned taking over the farm, and Jeremy has said in the past he would like it. At the end of tonight's episode, a preview clip saw Karen say she had strong feelings about not staying in Matt's Oregon family home. I don't think I even want to go in there. She said about the master bedroom he once shared with ex-wife Amy. Karen has also been a contentious figure during this season of LPB Damashi, started dating Matt after he divorced the mother of his now adult children, Amy, 57. Amy, meanwhile, has moved on with her new husband, Chris Merrick, 59. But Karen has come under fire from fans, who think she's overstepping by getting involved, as Matt feuds with his sons Thatch and Jeremy, both 32, about the sale of the farm. Karen was at the table for the unsuccessful negotiations with the brothers, which resulted in Matt putting up part of the farm for sale privately. Their failure to come to an agreement created a massive rift between Matt and his son Zach who quit working on the farm and accused the patriarch of not valuing the next generation. Matt announced the sale of the Oregon pumpkin farm in May. According to the Wall Street Journal, Matt has asked for about $4 million with the sale of the original family home and bright red barn. Change EA head, Little People's Matt Roloff shares new video of renovations on farm, after he's ripped for not selling property to Sansi update comes after he was ripped for not selling the north side of the lot to his son staking to Instagram. 60-year-old Matt gave his followers an update from the Oregon farm. The video showed a semi dropping off a huge delivery of wood chips. 
The camera then panned around to showcase the expansive green farmland. The north part of the farm is currently for sale. No more today. What are you thinking about this gossip today? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to get more updates like this. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and stay with us.